Man is stung in testicles by a scorpion at the Venetian Hotel as Las Vegas suffers mass infestation of venomous creatures. <laughs> what happens is in Vegas stays in Vegas. So a California man is suing the Venetian after waking up to the searing pain of multiple stings from a scorpion in his boxer briefs while on vacation at the Las Vegas Hotel. The suits come amid a wave of reports of scorpions invading properties across Sin City and its suburbs, including America's most lethal species the Arizona Bark Scorpion. One homeowner who claims to have killed over 22 scorpions on his property in recent months told local news that he suspects the deadly southwestern species has snuck into the city aboard palm trees imported for tract homes and other desert landscaping projects. No, thank you. So just one palm tree can have hundreds of scorpions hiding in them, according to the representatives from one local pest control service who corroborated that view. I don't know much about scorpions, but I don't care if it's the wimpiest one. I don't want to be stung in the balls. <laughs> so, the Arizona bark scorpion, they warn, is venomous and dangerous to young children, the elderly, people that are in poor health, and those that suffer an allergic reaction to the sting. The Las Vegas area has many types of scorpions, 23 to be exact. That's 22 more than I was aware of. And most of the scorpion species we see here are not something to worry about. So, while the photos taken appear to show a small Arizona bark scorpion, the species and toxicity of the creature has not been made public. I woke up with a sharp pain in my private area. I was surprised. I would be surprised too. Why surprised? What, what happened? Are we in a hangover situation that I'm going to be very upset about? I reached my hand to see what's happening over there put under the cover, and I got a, another sharp pain, another sharp pain. All told, he estimated that he was stung about three to four times by the scorpion as he attempted to remove the insect predator from his Reebok brand underwear. Very specific. Why is that in the in the article? I pulled away my Sony camera to take a photo to print out at my local CVS on Kodak paper. <laughs> Anyways, in his pictures, the scorpion was a warm, bright yellow hue, similar in coloring to the Arizona bark scorpion. Although he said his attacker was his attacker was considerably smaller. Yeah, it was still in there. Like, how did that get in there? And how did it stay in there? <laughs> nice. But the scorpion was having a ball. <laughs> According to a PhD ecologist, the owner of the Nevada-based Desert Wildlife Consultants, Arizona bark scorpions are about three inches long compared to the roughly one-inch long scorpion that stung Farchi. Compared to the roughly one-inch long scorpion that stung the victim. Around Las Vegas, this species is more likely to be found on block walls and inside houses than out on the desert. As such, this is the species most people are likely to see, and he added that they're quite common in some parts of the town. Additionally, the scorpion that attacked Farchi <clears throat> Sorry, I try not to say names. Additionally, the scorpion that attacked the man in his Venetian hotel room appears to have two dark eyes on top of its head and what could be three pairs of lateral eyes. All strong indicators that the now dead creature was a juvenile bark scorpion. No, thank you. <laughs> so he's now suing the Venetian with the help of Las Vegas area, quote, bedbug lawyer. So we don't have, so there's enough ambulance chasers now that we're chasing bugs. We've got bug chasing lawyers. Nice. He noted this was not the first incident wherein scorpions have been discovered invading guest rooms at the Venetian. Nobody staying in Vegas needs to be exposed to deadly scorpions while they're sleeping, let alone on their private parts, their testicles. <laughs> I can agree with all of that, yes. Although a public statement from the Venetian this March asserted the resort has protocols for all incidents, and we can confirm they were followed in this incident. <laughs> However, the guests recalled total indifference from the staff on the day of attack. I can see that, <laughs> I'm sure. So the Venetian d didn't even apologize for what happened when I met with the hotel, hotel manager. They just charged me for my room, the restaurant, and whatever I use. No apologies, no nothing. So he is not happy. In fact, it has made him very angry about the indifference. <laughs> oh, yeah, so there's oh, some sort of write-up here, I guess. This is, yeah, so I some some sort of report here. Maybe at the, maybe a police report. Actually, let's see. Let's see what we can learn about scorpions real quick. <laughs> Try to make me miss the actual video I'm trying to play here. A scorpion invasion in the Southwest Valley has some in the area concerned. As the temperatures rise, bugs coming out in full force, with reports of scorpions popping up inside people's homes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> balls! Give us those balls! 
This is a black light, one of many tools used to catch these venomous creatures. And those I spoke with say they've seen their fair share in the past couple of weeks here in the Southwest Valley. One of my friend's moms was sitting on the hot tub. I dare them to turn on a black light in the Vegas hotel room. You're going to see more than scorpions. <laughs> no, thank you. I tend to notice with a lot of houses in these neighborhoods, there's a lot of like bigger rocks where in between nooks and crannies, critters can hide. Uh, that was last month. A new father, Cameron Guyed, finding scorpions all over his house, even in his daughter's nursery prior to her being Jeez. Found them in almost every I knew this. House. I knew this was a thing. I didn't realize how common it was. We definitely want to make sure that she's safe and protected. Um, but I would say over the last few years, I've probably killed over 22 scorpions. Arizona Jeez. Park scorpions are venomous and considered the deadliest kind to humans. Fortunately, he and his family have pest control, but while other neighbors around him don't, Gayed says it can only help so much. Unless every single neighbor gets pest control, then they'll always be in the neighborhood. I would have double pest control. The neighbors about it. Some have gotten pest control, but some don't really care about the scorpion. I would care a lot. That's what it takes. If I saw one scorpion, you could rename me the mucilage man. I would have freaking sticky stuff everywhere. Because no thank you. A little scorpion got in his underwear. Scorpion's like, get over here, balls. Try to do his fatality on that man's nuts. Uh, it continues. Scorpion sightings in Las Vegas tend to spike annually with long, hot summers, stretching from March until fall. Uh, can't agree. It is so hot in Vegas. I think when I went, it was like 113, which that was like, you know, June or July. So, you know, not a shock. But these months mark peak scorpion activity periods in Las Vegas. The warm summer desert climate provides an ideal habitat for scorpions to thrive. And so while this encounter is an outlier by the standards of the region's endemic scorpions, it is all too typical of the invasive Arizona bark scorpion, which alarmingly increasingly thrive in the city's cooler climate-controlled environments. <laughs> I like the dude's attorney. He's like, it's like Walter White. He's got Heisenberg representing him in the uh, uh, courtroom there. <laughs> let him cook. Don't let him get stung. Anyway, uh, unlike, mo unlike most scorpions, the Arizona bark scorpion stays around moist, wet areas like balls. No, like a backyard pool in kitchens and bathrooms under the sinks. Uh, a representative from the pest control firm stated one family in Las Vegas is so infested with Arizona bark scorpions and their house and garage and outside in the yard. They have taken to going out in their yard every night with a black light and stakes to kill these pests. Wow, I thought just uh, tidying up the living room was bad enough. This month, scorpion reports exploded across the Las Vegas suburban communities, according to an investigation by the local CBS affiliate. And a local resident told the station that her neighbor was just recently stung while in their backyard while hanging out in a jacuzzi. Um, so a wet residential region that the Arizona bark scorpion gravitates towards. And uh, a new father in Vegas resident who boasted of killed who boasted of having killed tw over 22 scorpions, told the station he's even seen these deadly venomous creatures in his baby's nursery. Well, that's like in the video. Yeah, it's probably him. We found them in every corner, upstairs, downstairs. We just had a newborn, so we want to make sure she is safe and protected. Yeah, I mean, specifically, like it mentioned children. I mean, being smaller, venom's going to go a longer way. So no thank you. Um, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but I don't want a scorpion stinging my balls. That can stay in hell on fire forever don't 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 come near me